Imagine you are at a dinner party. The glasses clink, and the laughter subsides into a lull of contented murmur. Suddenly a friend leans in, lowers their voice, and whispers, Did you know the moon landing was staged? Instantly, the table is alive with chatter once more, some scoffing, others intrigued. This scenario illustrates an undeniable truth. Conspiracy theories captivate. In the human mind, the need for understanding and control is fundamental. Conspiracy theories fulfill this need by providing alternative explanations for events that are either too complex or distressing to accept at face value. Psychologists highlight that these theories often emerge in times of societal stress or after impactful events, providing a sense of agency or control to individuals who might feel disenfranchised or powerless. Furthermore, conspiracy theories often offer not just explanations, but also a community to those who feel alienated. Online forums and social media groups provide a haven where believers convene, share ideas, and reinforce each other's beliefs. This communal aspect can significantly intensify the allure of conspiracy theories, transforming personal disbelief into a collective, self-sustaining narrative. However, the dark side of this engagement is that it can lead to a widespread dissemination of misinformation. This propagation is not benign. It shapes public perceptions and can influence behaviors and policymaking often to the detriment of societal well-being. The moon landing, a staged spectacle? The 1969 moon landing is a landmark event in human history, heralded as a monumental achievement in space exploration. However, it also became the centerpiece of one of the most enduring conspiracy theories, that it was a staged endeavor orchestrated by the U.S. government to assert dominance in the Cold War space race. The theory posits that the risks and technological limitations of the time led to a fabricated mission, filmed in secret on Earth. This conspiracy theory taps into distrust towards governmental and scientific authorities, a recurring theme in many such narratives. The argument often hinges on anomalies perceived in the photographic and video evidence from the mission, which enthusiasts claim were inconsistencies betraying the staging. Despite debunking efforts by experts, the theory persists illustrating the deep-rooted skepticism and the appeal of a narrative that portrays the underdog, the theorists, uncovering the deceit of a powerful entity, the government. 9-11s, tragedy and conspiracy. The devastating attacks of September 11, 2001, are another fertile ground for conspiracy theorists. Here, the theory that these were planned or allowed by elements within the U.S. government speaks to fears of malign governmental omnipotence and ulterior motives. Proponents of this view argue that it was an inside job intended to justify the subsequent wars in the Middle East and the erosion of civil liberties in the guise of national security. This theory, perhaps more than any other, showcases the dangerous impact of such beliefs. It can hinder genuine discourse and understanding of geopolitical dynamics, besides disrespecting the victims and their families by overshadowing the tragedy with speculative narratives. In conclusion, the seductive allure of conspiracy theories lies in their promise to illuminate the obscured truths of monumental events, offering simpler, albeit less accurate, explanations. They invite individuals to be part of an enlightened minority, warriors against perceived manipulation. However, as we navigate these murky waters, it remains crucial to maintain a balance, championing skepticism without veering into the realm of destructive cynicism.